Hello friends and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and if this is the first of my two videos that you are checking out then I would like to introduce you to the newest characters Visus Mar and Darth Sion. They are the two newest additions, the two newest marquee event characters that we will be getting sometime in the near future. Now if you are looking for the Darth Sion I will leave a link in the section below and you can check out the Darth Sion kit reveal there. But in this, this video, I do want to focus entirely on Visa Smar. Now, I'm not going to go into the background of who Visa Smar is. I'm not going to talk about like her connection to the Darth Sion, but there's a pretty solid connection that I'm really excited to explore in another video. But today, this focus is just on her kit. Now, Visa Smart is a light side character. She is not a Jedi, nor is she a Sith, even though she does hold the quintessential Sith lightsaber. Now, one thing that to remember, guys, is this game is not officially canon. However, if it's exciting enough, if people love the characters enough, maybe we can see something where they go back and introduce more KOTOR stuff later on and then it's like reverse engineered canon i don't know it's officially not canon so like her lightsaber color the new form that bleeding thing doesn't officially take place it's, it's not the same right but it is cool to see a light side character with a red saber just super sweet very excited now she is a healer probably one of the most effective healers in the game in my opinion she's an offensive healer or offensive healer, not offensive healer. I mean, unless you're offended by healing, then yeah, she's an offensive healer with strong anti-Sith synergy. Now, that is going to play a part later on in in the the anti-meta. Probably going to play a part, a major part, in my, that I would assume in the Sith raid, which let's face it, is all about fighting the Sith. So that'll be sweet. Now. She has some really powerful abilities. She has two special abilities and a unique. I'm just going to jump right in. Her basic ability is called Telekinetic Blast. Deals physical damage to target enemy and dispel all debuffs on Visa Smar and another random debuffed ally. If the target is Sith, so if you're fighting a Sith, Visa Smar and her lowest health ally also recover 25% max health. If any debuffs were dispelled, reduce the cooldown of dark healing by one. Now, what's interesting is we had talked about dark healing with the, the Treya kit that I had created, and we have it. That is her first special ability. Dark healing reads deal physical damage to all enemies, all allies gain health steal up, for one turn and recover health equal to 35% of Visus Mars max health. If Visus Mar is at full health after using this ability, revive a random defeated ally at 50% health. Now this has a cooldown of eight, but again, if this is one of those, if you're having her attack with her basic out of turn, this is going to, uh, trigger more and more often that eight cool that eight turn cooldown is not going to be that much of a, a delay um additionally man health steal up super sweet very excited to see how that works out now her first special which just looks pretty sweet is called piercing strike it reads deal physical damage to target enemy and grant all allies defense penetration up for two turns. This attack ignores protection, right? So this is going to be one of those, those things that is very good when attacking uh, really high high tanks, really high char characters with great defense or great protection. And, and the fact that it gives characters defense penetration up is going to be something that is very useful in really any fight with the tank. And probably any fight with a, a raid boss would be my suggestion. Um, I look at like the Rancor and the heroic tank. Defensive penetration up is going to be 
very useful with a lot of characters. Her unique ability is called Return to the Light. Her, it is a Zeta ability, while Visa Smar has no debuffs. She has 100% counter chance and a 60% chance to assist when another ally attacks a Sith enemy. Now, this is only once per turn, but that is something that is going to be very, very useful. And think about, like, of all the places that we use to attack Sith, we're getting a new raid that's going to be a Sith raid. This character is going to be very useful in that Sith raid because of abilities like this. Now, just some, some just general strategy. She's a, she's a life side healer, right? With a cleanse on her basic attack. That is incredibly important because that, those debuffs are really can be what slow you down and what kill you. It doubles as an easy heal when fighting the Sith. If you're fighting the Sith, this is a that basic ability is going to heal you, which is super nice. The cooldown of dark healing is going to rapidly just diminish as she keeps getting rid of uh, buffs or debuffs on the battlefield. Armor penetration up and hitting under protection is just going to be incredibly beneficial. Now, this is a character that I highly recommend everyone farm. If you're a whale, you're going to buy her anyways. This, hands down, you're going to want her. Solid, solid character. Um, very curious to see what she looks like in the new, the new raid. Very excited to see that play out. Um, additionally, I am excited to see how she fits with, with other characters or just fits as an anti-Sith team. Very excited to see that play out. Um, this is a really cool kit and I got to play around with her a lot, uh, on this last weekend. And it was really fun to just pit her against a number of other players and a number of other teams and other, um, a number of other team makeups. She is a solid character and very, very, very much looking forward to seeing her in action. What do you think of this latest kit? What do you think of some of the footage that I've been showing you? I am excited to see her play out. I do not know when she is going to be added to the game. She is a marquee event, as I mentioned earlier. She is going to be coming with Darth Sion as part of that marquee event. I don't know if they'll be taking place at the same time or one one after the other. I do not know. I will be doing a, a story of, you know, background of who uh, Visa Smart is and kind of her connection to Darth Sion. I'm really excited to do that because it is a fun, fun story. For those of you who haven't played KOTOR 2, this is where these tunes are coming from, guys. It's on Steam. It's on PC. It's pretty much, I think it's even on your, it's in the Android and iPhone markets, if I'm not mistaken. Really, really cool. Totally suggest getting it. A lot, a lot of fun. And the lore behind it is just amazing. But what do you think of this latest character? What do you think of this latest healer added to the game? Again, not a Jedi, just a healer. But it's cool to have a light side. In my mind, it's just cool to have a light side character with that, that red saber. I think that's sweet. I think that's exciting. But leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus for Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.